guys, welcome to another video. So this is going to be my long awaited gear room or dog room tour. So I'm not going to go into detail about the gear. I can make a separate video on that. I imagine it'll probably get requested after this video, but this is just going to be an overview of the room and kind of the stuff I have in here and stuff like that. So let's go ahead and jump right into it. My dog room is also my home office because I work from home. So here's kind of like a quick overview of the room. Maverick's going to help with our tour today. He looks so pitiful. Okay, but when you first walk in and you look to your left, You've got my Worthless Handler Trainer Die Flag. I absolutely love this flag. And then I've got a extra large cot in here. I think this one's like 42 or something inches. And then I've got Maverick's Gunner Kennel. I don't have the rough lands down here just because they take up too much space and they don't get used a ton, whereas this one gets put on the side by side and stuff. So. I have left this one down here. This one also just weighs a ton and I really don't want to bring it upstairs ever, really. So <laughs> it stays down here. And then on top of that, I've got our Kato board. I like having this um, easily accessible for the room too, bringing it outside and so on. These things are just fantastic. I absolutely love Kato boards and I think I'm going to be investing in a second one. And then we've got my blank tubes. So these ones don't have odor in them. I like to keep them up and away from anything that might contaminate them. So they are always like up off the ground and separate from the one that is the odor tube. Soft crate tucked over here on the side. And then this wall is pretty blank, but right now it has a canvas print of Juno that my mom got me. I do want to get one of Maverick as well, so I just need to pick out a photo and then that will go right next to his. And then, like I said, this is also my office. So the desk contains mostly, like, my actual job stuff. But I do also edit videos here and things like that. So I'm going to do kind of a high-level overview of this since, like I said, most of it is work. But down there, I've got my, like, my notebook that I keep for when I take classes and things like that. And then over here... I've got both the dog's notebooks. This is where I keep all of their information, their training, things like that. Laptop. Hard drives, you know, the goods. And then I'm sure this is what everybody's most interested in. This is our ribbon or rosette storage display. So, these metal racks are like, they're called photo like photo racks on Amazon and I took them apart they came in like packs of two and hung them with nails these are fantastic because most of the rosettes you get have like a metal tab on the back so it just slides right through the grid and they just hang super easy so each dog has four but I can like expand you know if need be I made each one of the dogs their own little, like, sign. So these are embroidered with their registered names. And then that's Mavericks. And then I've got a little metal lab license plate, my college diploma pictures. So here I just have my Cricut for my small business printer. And then down here, I've got just my gun dog magazines and then extra binder materials. These are the dog's binders, both of their title binders as well as their like health record binders. And then this is just camera stuff, lenses, GoPro, tripods, things like that. And then I've got another cot over here. This one's smaller. Uh, this is Maverick's cot. He's done a good job decorating it. He likes to dig at his cot. So this is one is his and the other one is Juno's. On this wall is like 
their gear wall. Let me shut this door so you can actually get the full effect of the wall. Now my husband uses this closet for his stuff so I don't have dog stuff in the closet. But hanging on the closet I have one of those over the door rack hanger things with hooks. And this is perfect for all of our like bigger items so harnesses, leashes, like long lines and stuff that are like way too long to hang. My decoy bag that I use for when I'm training Maverick is hanging here as well. And then right over from that is my leash storage. This shelf I got at Goodwill and I just painted it black, added more hooks to it. I made this sign and this canvas is from, this painting is from Chewy. They painted that for Juno, so that's super cool. Got all of their leashes. It just started raining outside, so Maverick wants to investigate. <laughs> So all of their leashes hang there, and then I also have uh, some tabs and some slip collars. To the right of that is my collar storage. So I made these hangers. They are just wooden dowels that I stained. And then these are curtain rod hangers that are like adjustable. And so the wood just sits in there and you tighten it, and then they don't go anywhere. But I've got Juno's collars, Maverick's collars, and then their patch collars. So canine tactical gear, modern icon, tacky pup, things like that. And to the right of that is our patches. <laughs> so I did have to invest in a larger patch storage, patch board. Um, it's just a Velcro giant thing. I don't even know what it's called. I'll have it linked below. Um, but it just hangs on the wall and all the patches stick to it. I like being able to see all the patches we have and be able to like pick through them and things like that. So I definitely really enjoy that. And then down below the collars I have our bookshelf. So first to the left of the bookshelf is Maverick's bumper bucket that I have decorated with stickers because I just, I love stickers and I put them on everything. And in there, obviously, all of his bumpers and things like that. On top of it is my odor tube. Now, I like to keep this one separate from the blanks, but also I need to have something on top of the bucket because he will dig through the bucket and pull all his bumpers out. So, it has to be covered up by something, so this works out just perfect for that. On the very top of the shelf, I have my scent work boxes or my scent work storage. This is my big one and this will be my travel one. I just haven't set it up yet. But I keep my odor in here, uh, q-tips, things like that. I can do a video on these if you guys are interested. I think it might have been requested before but yeah, if this is something of interest to you guys I can definitely do a video and I can you know set this one up at the same time. Then on the second shelf I just have, this is where I keep my camera, hard drives, things like that. Let's let Maverick out before he has a hissy fit. Okay, exit. <laughs> so camera equipment, cords, hard drives, things like that. And then this is our feed bucket. These are paint rollers that I use for hold conditioning with Maverick. And then on the next shelf, I've just got some boxes here. This holds just some like random stuff for that came with the picture grids, just like hangers and clips and things like that. This is extra scent work stuff, so pads and uh, odor bags and things like that. And then these are all of my blank boxes that I use for training containers. And then on the bottom shelf, I have all of our like training and educational books. So any of my books that I've bought in regards specifically to like dog training and things like that, I keep in here. And then that is just storage for my ribbon making stuff, which you guys saw in my last video. 
So I hope that was interesting to you guys. It's not a super big room, not a whole lot going on, but it definitely works great for me and I really enjoy it a lot. So if you guys have any questions, as always, leave them in the comment section below. Anything that I can, I will have linked in the description for you to purchase if you're interested. And yeah, I mean, let me know if you guys want a gear video, uh, if you want a scent work storage video. Anything like that, uh, definitely let me know and I will put those together. But thank you so much for watching and we'll see you in the next one.